Good morning friends. Today we will discuss about inserting blank rows in Excel. When we talk about inserting blank rows in Excel, there are so many ways. I will just show you. This is my data worksheet. I want to insert some blank rows here. Say I want to insert 5 blank rows. I can select 5 rows like this and then I right click on selections I can say insert or we just say control plus is a shortcut to insert blank rows even we can insert alternate rows also I mean blank rows we need to select alternate rows first manually which is tedious job like this like this and then we right click on selections or we can say control plus so right click on selections insert or we can say control plus but suppose we have thousands of row very difficult to select manually all alternate rows and then control plus A lot of people ask to me I mean how to insert uh, blank rows in one shot is any shortcut or option in Excel no a lot of people talk about macro codes I mean VBA codes which is difficult for everyone to write VBA codes for this without macro codes also we can insert alternate blank rows in Excel in very short time so I am going to teach you how to insert alternate blank rows it can be alternate two blank rows or three blank rows whatever you want so the idea is first go to the sheet where you want to insert blank rows and go to the last column and then type any column heading after last column any column heading doesn't matter it is whether it is ABCD or anything so I am just typing temp just uh, any it can be any column heading and then you need to type serial number from 1 to the last row I mean 1 to 3 to the last row we know well how to insert this serial number so we type 1 we type 2 and then we select both 1 and 2 double click this is called fill handle this is normal method we know just double click when we double click we get series from one to the end in my case we have hundred rows so getting only hundred if you have thousands you get thousand after filling series we need to copy this series not the heading so I just say control shift down arrow key is a shortcut to select from A2 to the end so, I mean start to end then I copy control C then I go to the last cell of the same column control down arrow key and then copy I mean paste the same copied thing after the last cell of the same column so I say control V to paste if you want two alternate blank rows then you have to paste same copied thing twice I mean once here and once after this suppose I want here only one blank row alternate blank rows so I'll just paste once once your data is pasted you need to sort your database based on last column so how to sort your database in Excel be in that column anywhere no need to select that column and you can sort by going to home tab or by going to data tab so I go to data tab A to Z or you can go to home tab right hand side we have sort and filter either the way you need to sort it so I just go to data tab before going to data tab 
or home tab make sure that you are in the last column and then either a to z or z to a so i am clicking a to z so the moment i click a to z my entire worksheet is sorted and ultimately i am getting alternate blank rows now last column has no meaning for me if you want you can remove it so i click on last column i mean i column here and say control minus is a shortcut to delete selected rows or columns now this is your output a result in very short time very easy way without writing any vba codes or any macro programming thank you